हेलो एवरीवन आई एम अजीत कुमार कभी हियर एंड आई एम हियर टू डिस्कस अबाउट द प्रीव्यू ऑफ क्यू फोर एफ वाई ट्वेंटी वन रिजल्ट ऑफ वेरियस बैंक्स द रिजल्ट इज द एच डी एफ सी बैंक रिजल्ट इज गोइंग टू अनाउंस दिस सैटरडे ऑन सेवेंटीन ऑफ अप्रैल सो बिफोर द एच डी एफ सी रिजल्ट आई एम गिव आई एम ट्राइंग टू गिव ए परस्पेक्टिव हाउ द क्यू फोर एफ वाई ट्वेंटी one results will be on the entire banking sector the business updates released for financiers in 4QFY21 like the banks like federal indusind sdfc the growth momentum the credit growth momentum is good at around 3 to 4% of sequential credit growth and the yoy credit growth is little muted at 6 to 7% while the deposit trust in deposit growth is robust at more than 5 to 10% qoq and more than 12% in yoy however key to watch out for q4 fy21 earnings would be actual stress taking and the reported gnpa though we don't expect much deviation from the pro forma npa declared in third quarter of fy21 we have to see the provisioning built up both on the incremental stress and the contingency so the credit cost we expect to remain little elevated where the restructuring we won't see a much restructuring because the restructuring restructuring taking has already happened in third quarter of fy21 so we in the management commentary we have to check the covid second wave impact how the financiers and the banks will be conservative on credit growth and not utilizing utilizing their contingency buffer how benefits of funding cost and portfolio mix shift offset the interest on interest reversal and the lower cd ratio uptick in credit growth stable names seasonally strong fee income in q4 will support the operating profit we expect around 5% or more than 20% yoy nii growth in our coverage bank and the credit growth credit cost will be key determinant in the earning driver a lower base in q4 fy20 we expect more than 60% of earning growth in banks in our coverage like sdfc icici access indusind and other state bank of india bank of baroda and others so the credit cost will be the key determinant in the upcoming results so the investors we we urge the investors to keep on investing on the high quality banks and the banks having very lower valuation so our preferences are sdfc icici access state bank of india indusind bank and among the psu banks we are still betting on bank of baroda we see a lot of earning potential and canara bank despite 10% correction in last week so guys keep on investing and focus on these large large banks thank you